Hello everyone, this is Sergio Martinez uh, with GJD3D. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a new definition that was created by uh, Andres Gonzalez. Uh, we can see it right here, it's a grasshopper definition for a, to create a mannequin. And what I'm going to be doing, uh, as, as you can see here, uh, I'm creating dress forms of different sizes uh, to be able to use to create clothing for fashion design. So basically, as you can see, uh, I've already created various uh, body types ba based on measurements that I that I have. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and, uh, and show you how simple uh, this works. And as you can see right here, we have this one. And we have all the information in here. Notice all these curves have a different color. And all of those colors are represented in each section over here, the torso, the hip the hem, the neck, and it's very simple. What you do, what we do here is, and notice all the way at the top we have uh, our option for baking once we've done one, and it shows us here our measurements. So basically it's, it's, it's fairly simple. Uh, the waist uh, is right there, it's a white one, and as we can come over here and we can start playing around with this and change, uh, so let's uh, Let's change the waist a little bit over here, like a 60. There we go, a little thin waist. There we go, maybe there. Raise this one up a little bit. There we go. So you can play around with the with the size of the waist, and then move on to the continue moving around. Like right there's the torso, and here's the torso. So we can start working with this. Maybe this person is a little taller, has a taller, uh, longer torso. So uh, we can move. Uh, this a little tall, higher. There we go. Uh, then we have the hip, and the same thing. We can move it up or down if this person has a longer hip or a shorter hip, uh, and we can change the size of the hip. So we can, if we're gonna make a loose dress, we can go ahead and make that a little bit larger. You know. Then we have uh, all the way at the the bottom, the hem. Uh, Maybe this is gonna be like a like a loose dress all the way at the bottom, so we can go ahead and scale this in in there and there. And notice that we can move it up or down, so we can make it shorter, we can make it longer. So in this case, uh, let's raise it up a little bit right around there. There we go. And uh, notice that you can also move it forward or move it back. But in this case, the front stays straight and there. And then we have, uh, we can go zoom out a little bit here. We can see all our different sections here. Uh, notice that I can also go directly to each one. Uh, I can go over here, for example, if I'm going to work on the, on the, on the bust, I can, you know, there, and it takes me directly to the bust uh, section. So right here now, I can just go and change the bust, whatever I need to do. Like, for example, if I need to make a less pronounced, uh, uh, bust, I can come over here and uh, take these down and flatten the bust a little bit. You know, I can make it wider to the center or to the outside. There, so you can play with the cleavage and all the different types of uh, busts that you can cre that you can set up, and uh, you can move it up, you can move it down. So if this person has a higher bust or a lower bust, you can move it up or down. So uh, as you can see, it's very easy to move all these different uh, uh, parts. And once you're happy with the uh, with the mannequin that you have, your dress form, and it matches the, the dimensions that you have taken from the subject or the person, uh, you go up to you know to the top over here, or you can use the little eye over here and go to the origin. There we go. That takes us to the top. And all we have to do is uh, right click here and bake. And choose the layer you want to bake it into. And I'll just pick layer 5 and click OK. And I have just baked a new one. So uh, I can now take that one and just move it over to my list over here. And right there now, as you can see, I have another dress form ready for me to do some. Uh, some some fashion on there now as we know since we are in rhino now it's very easy for me to begin uh, 
Let me flip the direction here. There. Now it's very easy for us to start drawing here. You know, start creating just by drawing some curves. Like this. And then we know that we can project those curves onto the form. And we can start experimenting and seeing what kind of a garment or type of clothing we're going to uh, be making.